where we have cosine of an angle, negative sine of an angle, sine of an angle, and cosine of an angle. So what does this look like an example? So let's say that we want to rotate by 45 degrees. Well, it turns out that 45 degrees is pi over two. So A is pi over two. Unfortunately, when we're dealing with sine and cosine, their input has to be in radians. So let's write this down. Let's write down cosine of pi over two. Uh, 45 degrees is pi over four of pi over four. Negative sine of pi over four. Sine of pi over four. Cosine of pi over four. And this is going to get multiplied by our favorite vector, two two. So what are the numbers here? Go back up here. So about 0.7, about negative 0.7, about 0.7, and then about 0.7. We have our vector 2, 2. And then what does this equal? Well, let's do the dot product. We have 0.7, negative 0.7, dotted with 2, 2. And then we have 0 0.7, 0 0.7, dotted with 2, 2. And what is the final result here? Well, 0.7 times 2 plus negative 0.7 times 2 gets us 0. And the positive version gets us 2.8. And that may kind of make sense. If we go back and look at 2D space, if we have our good friend 2, 2 here, and we want to rotate him by 45 degrees, which is this way, since we're in sort of an upside down space, he should wind up landing at about 2.8. 